Somebody call the law. Somebody call the law. It got to be illegal for me to be so wrong. What up, though? Heist man, the foe talk that talk, ghetto news and opinions, man. Have y'all heard this story right here about this dude right here? His name is Ryan Rowlands. He is a second round draft pick for the Washington Wizards. Big shout out to him for making it to the NBA, living your dream. But yo, right now, they saying some things about him, man. I'm hearing on these streets, man. They say he's been kicked off his team. They say he got to go. You, you out of here, bro. It ain't nothing he did detrimental to the team. It's because he did something else. He went inside of an establishment and started putting his hands on things, you know, and, and, and walking up out of there with him. Some of the things he walked up out of there with was some body wash. Some, some, you know, they say he got some groceries up out of there, too, and... He also got some candles up out of this establishment. And he did it seven times, y'all. Not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, not six, but seven. Seven times out of Target, man. What are you doing inside of a Target stealing with an NBA contract? Hold on. I got your contract right here. Um, He was on a minimum contract with the Wizards, making $1.7 million in his second season, plus a, um 600000 for next year for, that was fully guaranteed. So that's almost two million dollars. You, I mean, I don't know about you. That ain't low. One point six million you inside the target stealing, bro. Come on, man. Um, when I when I first heard this, I'm looking like, what is he doing? Like, I'm looking, listening to the um, the stuff he was stealing. I was looking like, hold on, he got some body wash, he got some candles and some groceries. So maybe he's trying to get on a date. I mean, maybe he had a date and he couldn't do it. I'm like, oh. You, I don't condone stealing, even though my name is the heist man. I don't steal. But you know what I mean, though. I so said, maybe he had a dinner. The boy did it seven times. I was like, God damn. I can't even make this up, man. I was like, yo, maybe he had a date, though. You know, he wanted to get in the hot tub. You want to do a little something, something, a little razzle-dazzle. Get a girl some dinner, candlelight dinner, and, you know. Do his thing. Or he was doing a seance. I don't know. I'm just saying. Um, seven times doing that, being um, a millionaire, maybe it's deeper than that. I can't say because um, I don't know, but maybe he is a kleptomaniac. I think that's a psychological thing going on with him. You know, it's a term in the medical field. I'm not a doctor, um, not a PhD, but you know what I mean. I just wear the glasses. They're not real. I am smart, though. I am, I'm intelligent. No. That I heard that word before, kleptomaniac. That means you steal and you got a problem. That's why you steal. Um, maybe the man needs some help, yo. Maybe he just got to do it. Maybe he just like, or he just feel entitled. Maybe he entitled. We're like, man, paying for no body wash. Because some people do feel that way sometimes, man. Like, I don't know, man. You got to be Debo or something. I remember seeing that on the wire one time. Um, what was my man named? Marlo on the wire. He went inside the store and he bought something and he seen some little um, lollipops and he took them, put them right in his pocket, looked at the man, the security guard and just walked off like, I don't know, maybe feel he's entitled or he's, y'all know what I mean, man, if y'all ever seen The Wire, y'all seen that with Marlo, went inside, it. wind up murking that man too, getting that man murking, that man came out like, bro, come on, man, you can't just steal in front of me like that, man, see how I can, so... That's what he did. I don't know. Maybe a kleptomaniac. Maybe he... <laughs> he Marlowe from the wire. I guess. I don't know. But that's the story. Ryan Rollins. Young, too. He got to be young. He born like 2002. Goddamn. Born like 12. How you make... I don't know. I think like 2021. Yeah. Ain't no mathematician either. But you know what I mean, though. So, yo, that's the story. Ryan Rollins. Kicked off the team, been let go because he been putting his hands on things that don't belong to him inside of a Target. And hope you get better, man. Um, I let your peoples. I don't know if this is true or not. I'm just reporting it. Just talk that talk, ghetto news, man. That's what I do. Every Friday on this channel, I go live talking about stuff just like this. You just got to come through and holler at me, man. Hit that like button, the comment button, the share button, the subscribe button, the notification bell. All them good buttons you got to hit to get this pimping that I'm putting out when I put it out. And like I said, I go live every Friday. Come through, join the conversation. 
and holla at your boy, Heist Man the Full Talk That Talk Ghetto News and Opinions. This is a dangerous group that groups that we're dealing with now. All right. This time, but I'll be back. And sooner than you think. Wherever there's prejudice, ignorance, inequality, I'll be there.